Hello, and welcome to the NAICS Code tutorial series by Class Codes. This series is designed to help you become a NAICS Code expert. Showing here is a list of all the videos in this series. We have provided links to all of these videos in the description below. Today, we will be learning how to determine the industry classification of an establishment. An establishment is classified to an industry when its principal activity meets the definition for that industry. This is a straightforward determination for establishments engaged in a single activity, but when establishments are engaged in more than one activity, it is necessary to establish procedures for identifying its principal activity. In cases where there was more than one activity, the industry code is assigned based on the relative share of value added. The activity with the largest value added is identified as the establishment's principal activity, and the establishment is classified to the industry corresponding to that activity. For example, if the value added within an establishment consists of 40% from manufacturing dishwashers, 30% from manufacturing airspeed instruments, and 30% from assembling clocks, it will be classified to NAICS 335223, Major Kitchen Appliance Manufacturing. The assignment of the industry code is performed at the six-digit level of the classification. In most cases, when an establishment is engaged in more than one activity, the activities are treated independently. However, in some cases, the activities are treated in combination. There are two types of combined activities that are given special attention in NAICS. They are vertical integration and joint production. These combined activities have an economic basis and occur in both goods producing and services producing sectors. In some cases, there are efficiencies to be gained from combining certain activities in the same establishment. Some of these combinations occur so commonly or frequently that their combination can be treated as a third activity in its own right and explicitly classified to a specific industry. One approach to classifying these activities would be the use of the primary activity rule, that is, whichever activity is largest. However, the fundamental principle of NAICS is that establishments that employ the same production processes should be classified in the same industry. If the premise that the combined activities correspond to a distinct third activity is accepted, then using the primary activity rule would place establishments performing the same combination of activities in different industries, thereby violating the production principle of NAICS. A second reason for NAICS recognizing combined activities is to improve the stability of establishment classification both over time and among the various parties that implement the classification. An establishment should remain classified in the same industry unless its production process changes, and different parties should code the same establishment or type of establishment in the same way. A consistent treatment of establishments with combined activities is more likely if they are classified to a single industry. Vertical integration involves consecutive stages of fabrication or production processes in which the output of one step is the input of the next. In general, establishments will be classified based on the final process in a vertically integrated production environment, unless specifically identified as classified in another industry. For example, paper may be produced either by establishments that first produce pulp and then consume that pulp to produce paper, or by establishments producing paper from purchased pulp. NAICS specifies that both of these types of paper producing processes should be classified in NAICS 32212 paper mills rather than in NAICS 3211 pulp mills. In other cases, NAICS specifies that vertically integrated establishments be classified in the industry representing the first stage of the manufacturing process. For example, steel mills that make steel and also perform other activities such as producing steel castings are classified in NAICS 33111 iron and steel mills and ferocious alloy manufacturing, which is the first stage of the manufacturing process. The joint production of goods or services represents the second type of combined activities. In some cases, the combined activities have been assigned to a specific NAICS industry. For example, establishments that both engage in the sale of new cars and also provide repair services are coded to NAICS 44111 new car dealers. In other cases, specific industries have been identified for these combined activities, such as NAICS 44711, gasoline stations with convenience stores. In some complex businesses, there are units that exclusively produce services in support of other units within the same company or enterprise. Examples of such units are transportation units, central administrative units, and head offices. 
Such units are known as ancillary units and are classified according to the NAICS code related to their own activity. This means that a warehouse providing storage facilities for its own company or enterprise will be classified as a warehouse. Similarly, a head office providing headquarters services for its own company or enterprise will be classified to the head office industry. I would like to quickly add that if you have any questions regarding this video, please ask in the comment section below. And of course, likes are very much appreciated. This concludes the NAICS code tutorial series by Class Codes. Thank you so much for watching.